Tiffany and this is a re-recorded addendum video for Green Clean Homes and the income statement. As you may have noticed, and I said in my last video, this is nothing like any business form I've ever seen. Side by side is not how it would be. It would be up and down. So let's make it that way. We're not going to replace whole columns. We're just going to replace the data. So I'm going to select one row above, but then the exact side to side measurements so that we can keep it perfectly centered on the page. And then we're just going to move this down here. Perfect. So now what we need to do, oh, see my heading over here. That's what I've done. Okay. So I aligned it in such a way because this was too long. So we can either make this smaller text right here, or we can just enlarge this. And since these columns are so large, let's make this smaller text. While we're at, select my little triangle friend up here and say page layout. Let's clear all page breaks and let's clear the print area just in case. Okay, so then let's go back and minimize this. We can see the whole thing. And we're going to say, select right here, and go all the way up to the top, and select that. And we are going to set print area. That's an old school thing. I don't even know if people really do that anymore. But that's the way I learned, and that's used to be the only tool we had. So when you set the print area, that means it won't print a lot of empty space or unnecessary lines. So then what we need to do is we need to insert a page break so that it prints on separate pages. So let's just insert a page break right there. Insert page break. Now we're back to the heading. So let's focus on the heading. 